God is good all the time. Once again, I repeat that God is good all the time. Right now, I'm fired up after this breaking news. And what it says is Merle Rutledge was right. Now, Republicans, you're going to have to grow some balls or grow some spine. But it's time to fight back for our president. Yes, it is. Those 10 pieces of garbage Republicans and the rest of them animals that turned on our president. Y'all could go straight to hell. Now, this report that you see up there on the screen, let me pull it up. What does it say? FBI report warned that war at Capitol contradicting claims there was no indication a looming violence. That report was given to Nancy Pelosi and the rest of them pieces of trash at the U.S. Capitol three days prior to January the 6th, 2021. This was a setup. Now, I've had plenty of pieces of trash, people I don't like. Give me a call. And as much as I didn't like them or like their personalities, when I saw that they were being done wrong, I stepped up because justice was required, not my feelings or emotions. And most of the time frame, it took them a while to make that call because more than likely at that time period, they didn't know what to expect. I can't see people done wrong. And President Trump is being done wrong in this situation. And then there was another piece of trash prior to this whole thing going on that was saying emotions and all this other crap was going on with him and said, hey, there's nothing exculpatory to help President Trump. Wasn't that what he said? Now, me speaking out loud, I'm not giving out legal advice, but if I was representing myself and I saw this same thing up there, that looks pretty exculpatory. It looks like what you did was set up people that you didn't like because of who they supported as their president. It looks like entrapment. It looks like that you made sure to make sure your congressional members and more was put in peril because you wanted to conceal the fact of what was about to happen and the dangers that loomed. This is inexcusable, flat out inexcusable. President Trump's impeachment should be overturned immediately and Republicans need to start fighting back and using the same theory that they used against President Trump against all those animal politicians that's up there like wolves trying to go ahead and get the rest of the blood that they couldn't get from the president. This is terrible people. I don't care how much you don't like the president. Don't care how much you feel he was being a certain way. The fact of the matter is you do not set up people and wrongfully convict them. This is what happened here. He was impeached based off of political affiliation, based off of politics, and based off of the deep state, the swamp, and rhinos working together and, together and simultaneously. 
this is what you call treason, sedition, and insurrection by the mere facts. This was done by Democrats. This was done by those who they employed to carry out this mission. Those who helped, assisted, and aided, whether you voted for impeachment or whatever, you deserve to make sure America has your resignation. You don't deserve to be in Congress. You don't deserve to be in public office, period. What happened here is the fact that there was evidence that was there, just like all the, the different people who have been wrongfully convicted throughout time, where they concealed the evidence. You can ask Kamala Harris about that. Had the man on death row knew he was innocent and laughed about it. This is exactly what's happening right here. No words or statements was made by President Trump or anybody else that said to storm the United States Capitol. None whatsoever. By their theory, any time frame you go to somewhere, anywhere in the world, and you speak, if they in the crowd do something, you are to be charged with it, even though your speech never said to do exactly what that person decided to do. This is the most creative, planned, and done with precision to convict the president of the United States of America for a crime that he did not commit and punish. This is cruel and unusual punishment because nothing meets the definition of what they're talking about, but they damn sure kept this report from making it to the public eye. You think Americans all over the country wouldn't be second guessing when they found out you Pelosi, you and your minions, and the rest of you scared knee-jerk Republicans that was out there turning your back on the president and not fighting? Y'all don't deserve our respect. That's why we have the problems with the politicians that we do have. The fact of the matter is you can't stand up for what's right because you're so busy wondering where the money's going to come from, and that's where I'm going to go ahead and support. This is shameful. This is nothing but cowards. Because I had to vote with my conscience with one Republican piece of trash. If your conscience was about doing what was right, you should have turned over this evidence and made the American people know exactly how the president of the United States of America was being set up to take the fall for what was ultimately going to be a democratic purge of Republicans and free speech. This is what it was. It was the big purge of, of our boys to say that we have questions about uh, election and we want answers. They didn't want us to have answers. That's why they set this whole thing up. This is terrible, people. Anybody who has ever had a case where the government was trying to railroad them. This is exactly this type of case. There's no way there should be a trial in the Senate. Republicans, y'all need to start getting out your articles of impeachment, your expulsion type of documentation and start saying, if you want to impeach our president, then it's time for you to be held accountable for your actions and making sure that our lives, especially if you're a congressional member, was going to be used for your political agenda. This impeachment is for Nancy Pelosi and the spare Biden and Harris of what is known in history as stealing the election. Instead, they wanted it to be about the impeachment of a president. When you do stuff under bad faith. 
this is the type of stuff that comes out from it. Like I said, if you Republicans ain't going to fight, then we understand why patriots and the rest have taken the lead. Because you politicians don't have what it takes anymore. Instead of defending the president, not off emotions, but based off the facts, you allow for a tyrannical government ran by liberals to continue to punish, continue to batter, and continue to assassinate the character of the president of the United States of America and those who support him. If this was done in the reverse, I would still have the back of the other side because this is not how justice is supposed to be applied. It seems like President Trump got a special type of treatment that a lot of you politicians didn't. This is shameful. That's why I call on Republicans to raise as much hell as possible about making sure this impeachment never goes down in the record for what it is. This is a DC screw job by the swamp. Because this right there on that screen right there says, you may be looking for police. You may be looking for protesters, but what you need to start worrying about and looking for and looking for the animals inside Congress that allowed this to happen because there's no way in hell you're going to have anybody else believe that this was not a setup. Now we know it was. There was no kind of interest in having peace at the D.C. Capitol. Democrats wanted everything to happen so they could go ahead and have the liberal media cover it up. That's why you keep seeing this on TV instead of COVID. They wrongfully impeached the president of the United States of America. That should be enough Republicans to say and demand that you ought to tell your chairmen, you tell your leaders, you tell your representatives. If you're not going to fight, if you're not going to take the hypocrisy of Pelosi and the rest of them stupid Democrats that had convicted more people in the United States to wrongful convictions than anywhere else in the world. Yep. And this is nothing more than a constant pattern of temper tantrums of politicians. We need the grown-ups back at the table so bullshit like this doesn't ever happen again. And to our president of the United States of America, you continue to fight. But too bad these other weaklings don't have to fight in them anymore. Because this would be me fighting. Me, I would be calling out the hypocrisy. Me, whether I could get it done or not, I'm going to attempt to say I filed the paperwork to get rid of Pelosi, filed the paperwork to get rid of the rhinos and the rest of them that helped aid the attack on the D.C. Capitol. They were so pissed off at President Trump, they didn't care if their own Brothers and sisters in Congress got killed. That's what it was. But they care enough for 20,000 plus soldiers to be in D.C. to protect the inauguration of the fakest president of the United States of America that only is elect and definitely not my president, Joe Biden. Because until this matter is clear, Joe Biden has no legitimate reason to say he is president of the United States of America if he didn't have the common sense prior to January 6th also because he got briefed also to say y'all need to have protection down there, more troops down there. It wasn't just President Donald J. Trump's job. The reason why 
President Joe Biden being called for it because everybody knew what was going to happen and they was going to blame it on President Trump. Guarantee, if you see how many people got that report right there, you're going to say, where's your leadership? Because Merle Rutledge wouldn't have had that shit happen. And I'm planning on running as governor of Virginia and it won't happen. Like I said, I'm the one who is the only candidate experience in stopping bullshit like this. And I'm glad to be the only candidate that has the heart, spine, and the realness to stand by the words that I say. And to all the patriots out there, to all those who support our president, give them a hell yeah.